Hi everyone, this is our weekly blog, and today I'd like to talk about strategy, okay? Especially in using herbs and pulse diagnosis. What you're going to find in most cases is that people have issues either with their heart, their sinuses, uh, their digestive problems, they'll have digestive problems, uh, or they're going to have um, problems with their liver. There are kidney issues, but generally that doesn't occur until a little later in time, you know, once they cross over 50, 60 years old. But the main thing you're going to see from the pulse that the most egregious pulses are usually in the liver, uh, the sinuses, or the heart. And, um, or they might have a very bad stomach. And so from a treatment point of view, of course, treating blocked coronary arteries is, um, you know, it put, puts the patient at risk if you don't treat it. But on the other hand, if they're complaining about allergies and asthma and they have a head full of phlegm and so forth, then in the beginning, you will have to produce a result in that area. Otherwise, you might lose the patient. So what you do is you, you use your acupuncture and you use your herbs to treat their uh, COPD, their asthma, or their chronic allergies. And generally, they will start feeling better within a few weeks. And then what you can do is you slowly begin to move towards their heart. And you try to unblock the coronary arteries. And you can do that. You just start adding blood movers to the formulation. Okay? Maintaining the treatment on the allergies or the, or the asthma. Once the main complaint being their allergy or asthma or whatever is a lot better, then you can really focus on their heart and you can explain to them what you're doing. I think it's extremely important to explain to the patient exactly what you're up to and, and what you feel. You should describe to them 